We what's, are here in Tampa. Yes, we are. What's going on, everybody? That's right. That's We're right. here. We're here. Our dicks are hard. We're locked and loaded. Yep. Mm. We're going to be doing a porn react to Belle Delphine's latest OnlyFans excursion. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm very excited. We got Charlie Moist Critical here with us. Hey, hey. I'm happy to be here. I'm hoping we talk a lot about wieners and stuff, which is kind of my forte. Oh, yes. Dude, that, that's funny you say that because that's all we talk about on this podcast. We talk about Perfect. cock more than any podcast yeah. out that's there. That's a bold claim. Yes. We have 300 episodes of all dick parts. Really? Yep. All yeah. dick, dick, all the time. That's why we came here. Yep. We, oh. we, came, we came to Tampa for no other reason other than to, to talk to the to the dick talk guy himself mm. yep. Yep. and um it's kind of cool that you guys actually bought the uh is Fortnite overrated couch so oh, we're yes. basically <laughs> like recreating that right now we all we grew up we did a little bit of anovar and and now we're here yep. is Fortnite overrated is is what we're going to be doing no yep. of course not we're out here in literally probably i hate to disrespect your hometown no, like this one of the worst fucking places in the United States of America. Jesus well, Christ. So I'm going to get defensive. I think <laughs> it's not even the worst place in Florida. I think that absolutely, mm. I think it comfortably True. belongs to Miami. Yeah. True. Miami for Wait, sure. Okay, really? I take yeah. it back. I've been to, no, Panama City Beach. What? Have you ever, no, Panama City Beach is a, no, that's the worst place in America. There's a lot of really bad places in Florida. I just, I used to live I, here. I'm going to disagree. I don't even think it cracks top 10 worst places in America. I okay. just don't think you've been to enough places in America. I, I've been to a lot of places. Oh. I, I've been all up and down the East he, Coast. He set my expectations at rock bottom, and I landed here, and I was like, God, you know what? It isn't that bad. It's because yep, you see? also did walk one block and then say that we've walked three miles and that you were sweating profusely. And you took almost your entire shirt off. Like You, you unbuttoned your shirt all the way down well, to the bottom. It's Tampa. You've got to do that. Respectfully, it is... 75 degrees, and I don't normally sweat at that temperature. Yep. It, it's so a the, human. the humidity, humidity here is absolutely like the silent killer. Absolutely. <laughs> it's kind of the devil. That's the first thing people notice. But I'm starting to warm up to Florida a little bit. It, I don't know why. I'm a, starting to like your it. It's a great atmosphere. Yeah. No, it's, this is like... I like saw one very... shirtless man, and he went... <laughs> This like is Hannibal a very gay Lecter. state. <laughs> this is a very gay state, not even because like Don't it's actually them. super gay, but like there's just a lot of, you know, Puerto Rican, Cuban, Dominican mm. uh mm. men out here and mm -hmm. then, you know, it's just you just <laughs> You might have, you might suspect it to be a gay state for that reason. Also They're not made gay. A, a, a noise like a fat man perusing a menu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dominican. There's a lot of beautiful men and women out here too. Yeah, so there's a lot of colleges here. So a lot of like yes. the younger people come to Florida to study mm -hmm. and it has a lot of like party universities. So you get a <laughs> lot of different demographics coming together kind of to share the same goal of just partying. It is it is incredible. I have seen so many beautiful people. Yeah. Men and women. Yep. I'm starting to it may yep. have turned me bisexual. Oh, yeah. okay. Florida will do that to you. I saw some boobs that transcended sexuality today. She used Where would you have seen earlier. boobs today? Well, not like bare boobs. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. They were they were on they display. Were yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were on display. Like I wasn't. They weren't out. Right. They were you the, could see the potential. They still had secrets to share. Yes. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Oh, you man. have a. I walked in here and the first thing I see is several cocks. Yep. The Moby Huges. So where where did your cock obsession start? So a long time ago, uh, we have a, a shop here called The Todd, mm -hmm. and I used to drive by it a lot going to university when I was commuting back in the day. Mm. So I was always curious, like, what they had, and they had, like, the wackiest shit. So they had alien pussies, and I was like, that's, oh my, that's sick. That's hype. That's hot. Yep. Yeah, what's so, an alien pussy like? So that's what I wanted to get to the bottom yep. of. So, <laughs> so I tackled it using the scientific method. I bought one. Yep. And you I, fucked it. I never fucked it, actually. That's crazy. Really? Yep. So I got it. I wanted to test, like, the durability, so I'd, like, break things with it. And I was like, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> stress tested. Yeah. It was, and it made the goofiest, like, goofiest noises. I put noises. it in the passenger seat of a car and crashed it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I was like, this is fucking crazy. Like, are all sex toys built like this? So then I just started getting, like, a whole smorgasbord of all kinds of different utensils and yeah. using them for different things. So then I eventually found the Moby Huge. And I was like, this is... This is the magnum opus. Can, can we explain what a Moby Huge yes. is for those people listening at home? Yes, yeah, so that is a three foot, roughly 70 pound dildo. It's sold through Amazon by a company called Glorycock, I think. Something like that. <laughs> and all they the good make. Good folks at Glorycock yes. bring you. Yeah. Yeah. Patriots, honestly, all, yeah. all of them. Do you think anyone's actually used that? It's impossible. It would actually bisect them. It's I know too some girthy. men. It would no. split them in half. I mean, okay. I, was, I was doing. 
I, I was like using it like a kettlebell, swinging it, and that yeah. shit's heavy. But do dude. we think this is like the sub five minute mile where at some point <laughs> <laughs> in human <laughs> history, everyone was <laughs> unanimously, it's impossible. But as training technology evolved, yes. so too did our ambition for the stars. Yeah, someone has to be the one to finally break new ground, the pioneer to trace. <laughs> is some fine young trail. athlete out there. If Siswet can't do it, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know if the next generation will be trained on like different types of booty. I, th I think we methods. may as humans, uh, assholes will evolve over time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Or being born without wisdom teeth yeah. and our assholes are more dilated over time, yeah. Yeah, to, to be able to take the Moby huge. Yeah. Oh. I think that's, so we, we need to begin to use them or attempt to use them. And eventually, yeah. you can't eventually. be speaking on this as the selfish top on this podcast. No, I can be because I'm looking for people that. You are fucking up the mic here awesome too. Mics. Is it bad? How long was it bad for? Not very long. Okay. God damn. That's Sorry. incredible. Is it better now? It's actually a skill, honestly, at this point. Test, test, one, two. Okay, sorry. Sorry, Trey. It's I mean, good. truly, truly, uh, I think that it's a skill, yeah. what you're doing. I fuck here. up the mics every podcast. Every podcast. That's he, all right. He switches yeah. the mics in my studio, which is, like, stable, you know what I mean? Yeah. And he, whichever microphone he sits on, he breaks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, speaking of skill and lack of skill, though, you failed booty boot camp. I did. So, I there's a there's this thing. Uh, have you ever put something in your butt before? Not... By design, but like okay. toilet paper ripping, and you get like yeah, jump yeah. scare. Yeah. Got it. So, <laughs> wait. <laughs> oh, well, jump scare. Yeah, it's not like what I was planning on happening. Uh, okay. Yeah. I, oh, I see what you mean in a finger. Yeah. Well, there's this thing called booty. <laughs> You're wiping aggressively, <laughs> yeah. sir. When you have enough. Well, it doesn't like enough. go fully in, but it like it like knocks on the door. You know, it's like, when hey, you're wiping you and you just. <laughs> you, need a, you need a bidet, my man. That's what you need. I've heard the glory of the bidet one yeah. day. One day. Yeah, those are they're phenomenal. Yeah, I've heard um, nothing but good things. So, booty boot camp is a series of dildos that works you slowly up to mm. the size of a the, training kit. Yeah, it is a training kit. Gotcha. Yeah. And I notoriously failed. He couldn't get past the thimble. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't get past the first one. Like he couldn't like even it, get past the you know finger in the butt while you're wiping. No, <laughs> no, I, it, it was a little bigger than that. Give me some credit. Right. Was it like painful or? No, it just wasn't my thing. It, was like gotcha. a it wasn't even painful. I mean, Hassan is homophobic notoriously. Yes, yeah. so he's <laughs> true. Famous. He, on the he end, doesn't. Right? He doesn't like to even talk about this. Yeah, usually yeah. like it's very uncomfortable. Yeah, it just makes me very upset. Yeah, he's the, been, the moment that we start talking about. Yeah, gay the stuff. moment I entered Florida, he felt very comfortable, surrounded by homophobes. He was trying to throw me into traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Florida's <laughs> is oh, pretty gay. So, like I said, wait, you have to bleep that out on the podcast. <laughs> wait, why? I just said the F slur. Oh, yeah. yes, we are not bleeping that out. No. We are not. Finally, fucking oh. got him, dude. He was dropping Fuck. the F slur all day today. You're like, you're such a little kitten when you're on you camera. To, you never want to say it. Wait, am I gonna get canceled for that? No, no dude. Okay. I told you, you literally. Okay. <laughs> You, you also are did, gay. Yeah. yeah you also did order um, an unusual drink at Starbucks today. Yeah. Uh, it was weird. Yes. I ordered a, a drink. Um, say it. Say, say what the name what of the drink ordered. was. Oh, God. I can't. Say what you ordered. Say it. You know on. what? No. Let I, it out. I, I, I hit my quota for F slur. For That's the day. not even remotely true. The moment <laughs> that the cameras are off, you're going to start calling Charlie the F slur. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't stop. It's weird. Yeah. Um, but yeah. The, it was I've the, never heard him say it. No. It was the. I've never said it. I've never heard My mic cut out. Can you bleep that out on the podcast okay here's the thing here's the thing low key we'll get demonetized. or not even low key high key i told him this already if you said the f slur openly uh in public like you do in private you would Never literally be more gay coded there's nothing gayer than dropping the f-bomb what do you think charlie I think it's hard for me to weigh in as like a Florida resident here because <laughs> there's just so many different factors at play. True. Yeah. A lot of non-gays are saying the <laughs> yeah, you, got, yeah. you got a lot of like extenuating circumstances yeah. Yeah. In, in Florida for that. Yeah. I can't believe I said it on the podcast. Ooh, That's boy. awesome. Ooh, I'm proud. No, 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 no. We're not believing it. We're not. No I shot. didn't even hear it. I've never heard you say it. Good. You are such a... You are such hey, a pick me. I'll say it. I'm an ally. You are such ally. a pick me. Oh my God. I will say it behind the paywall. Okay, I like that because the, the so second part of this is your gonna reward. Be, for, yeah. for yeah. You get to hear a slur. slur. You get to hear a slur <laughs> live. I like that. Uh, um, I, I have something I want to talk about. Okay, let's hear it. We've we've left Charlie in the dark for too long. Yes, I'm sorry, Charlie. That's okay. He can't pipe in on the F slur. No. Yeah, this is one that I'm probably not equipped Very to handle. Very controversial, Charlie. You know, you are a Florida resident. Yes, but I wasn't sure until I saw you pull out 
a gun. Oh, there's the Moby Huge right there. That's got to be blurry. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we. I don't think. It, I, I, I don't trust the, the monetization. Do you want, am I covering it? Yeah. What it just about now? wanders the halls <laughs> like a ghost. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. It just showed up here uh, on its own. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> it's like R two D two. But I, we weren't sure you were a Florida resident mm -hmm. until a recent video where you pulled out some very scary guns. Yes, I have some very scary toys. Yep. Oh my god. So I. I thought you were about to pull one out. <laughs> yeah. I just start blasting. Yeah. <laughs> that is very I have Florida. one tucked here in my gym shorts. <laughs> yeah. It's just, so recently I've kind of gotten into the whole gun scene and like really getting a handle on like firearm safety and yeah. all of that. And a buddy of mine, he builds them and he okay. was like, I've got you like with some crazy shit. And I was nice. like, brother, like set me up with that. Like okay. it's time this blood gets even redder for the American country. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I, I want like the top of the line stuff. So he got me this wild assault rifle. That's so fucking. Kidded. Is that the one we saw? Yeah. And yeah, yeah that you, you couldn't see it in the video, but the faceplate is actually all custom etched moist droplets on it. It's fucking that's, nuts. Oh, that's, that's sick. It it's is like a Call of Duty. It, gun. it is it actually like a Call of Duty skin. Cool. It was tasteful. Yeah, I it was. That, it, it wasn't that, overkill. Yeah. It wasn't like, yeah, it wasn't like so kidded that you look sir, ridiculous. No, come, what are we talking about? That gun was <laughs> no. pornographic. <laughs> no, no I think as far as air fifteens goes, like as it, far as AR no, for sure, it's like it's, that's like saying as far as Moby Huges go, it was quite tasteful. No, the reason why I say this is because like depending on how far down the gun pipeline you go on sure. YouTube, sure. like. You get to some insane stuff, and uh, yeah, there's, there's, an there's RPG, a concept. Right? There's a, yeah, no, no, there's a concept <laughs> called like tactical for that reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where like they will put like you know they'll, they'll put like insane sights on it. You got yeah. the foregrip. You got like you know <laughs> you got a bump stock or like an expendable uh, like an extendable. Uh, uh, what do you call it? The 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 bump uh, the bump basically. I don't yeah. know. I'm not I'm not like a big gun guy, but I've seen like some really insane stuff. And as far as that goes, that was like a. Tasteful it, was a, it was a tasteful yeah. gun. It I was thought not it, like it's crazy. classy. Like it yeah. has charm to it. It's not like egregious and in your face. It's like it's cool, yeah. but it's yeah. not bragging about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It's like you act like you've been there. Like yeah. you, that's what that's what it, it told me from yeah. what I saw. Yeah, I'm glad it spoke to you that way. Yeah, yeah. it spoke to me that way. Have as, you used as someone it? Who you likes you shoot it often? Yeah, well, not often, but yeah. because ammo is kind of expensive. But like in yeah. general, Brandon's yeah. America, man. I know. Are you a Tannerite Sleepy guy? Sleepy Joe. Oh, Tannerite is pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. Tannerite. Is that okay. fake weapon? Is that fake gun? No, that's no. The ex it's explosives. Oh, explosives. I've yeah. never used. It's explosives gun. that are the weirdly enough legal. I don't know why, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can just you know, you shoot, you shoot them and they blow up. I mean, it's for home defense, right? Is that what you use? No, <laughs> not tan not Tannerite. No. Right. <laughs> Dude, the AR-15 is not even for home defense. <laughs> yeah, someone well, broke in, so I blew up the front half of yeah. my house. No, they, they, well, they, yeah, is they that like booby traps well, with Tannerite? Was, I was just thinking, I mean, why else would you need it? I mean, it's not for hunting. Cause it's sick. No, cause it's fun. It's cool. Yeah. Dude, here's that... the here's the biggest secret I think yeah. that is like not even really a secret. If you watch any gun YouTubers uh, or anything like that, it, guns are just fun to shoot. They and are. that's why people yeah. want it. They want it as a hobby. They love it. It becomes like a part of their culture and their identity for some reason in America. But like ultimately, it's because it's fun. Everyone that says it's for like home defense is, you know, being a little crazy because you know what's for home defense? A shotgun. Or if you have a handgun, a, a handgun. Like those are, that's <laughs> oh, for home Jesus defense. Jesus AR-15 is I not. Just, I want to, if someone breaks in, I want to go going dark and then just <laughs> stalk them with a crossbow. Will, Will would like, if someone broke into his house, Will would like tie them up and torture them. <laughs> no, I can't say that on the no, podcast. No, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. Don't threaten them with a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, that's why I always say, like, look, I live in a gated community for sure and, and very safe. Don't come to my house, please. Yeah. Don't do it. Um, <laughs> you know, we don't <laughs> we don't want that. Yeah, no, we don't. Um, but, uh, yeah, I have I have katanas. Like, I'm well, so you're going to, like, actually go, like, full samurai if someone, like, busts in the God, last thing they'd expect. Killing someone with a katana would be so hot. That's so personal, too, because yeah. they wouldn't instantly die. You'd have to, like, look at them in the eye and watch the yeah. light leave. I almost chopped my toe off one Jesus time Christ. when yeah, I was Yeah, it's fucking terrifying slicing. way to die. It's, it's, like, it's sharp as fuck. They are. I, yeah. I, uh... I was like doing fruit ninja, which is very dangerous for the record. Do not that do it. That is the Tannerite of swords. Yeah. I was, I was like, <laughs> I, I had like, uh, I think it was, I think it was literally Sapnap and George last time they were at my house. They were throwing fruits at me and I was cutting them and I cut one and then I cut it down all the way to the ground 
and it cut a piece off of my uh, my slippers that I was wearing. Ooh. Yeah, oh, shit. Close it was so close to my toe. You were there. I was. I yeah, was it was so close. Yeah. yeah, it was so close to my toe. A safe work environment. I, I luckily survived. You made it. me hold a grapefruit in between my butt cheeks. And yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's just the safety's always off on those bad boys. You got to remember that, yeah, unless it's in the sheath. That's wild. I can't believe you never shot a gun. We got a no. I've shot a gun before. Oh, I, did you shoot? I, I shot a sniper rifle. Oh, yeah, oh you okay. Did. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I shot with Hassan. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. He's pro Second Amendment. I don't know if you know that. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, he's pro Second Amendment. He I've heard. I've heard his, that. He Big two A guy. Yeah. yeah, he loves. No, I do his love guns. guns, but I think that we should definitely have regulation <laughs> like around guns. Yeah, yeah. With, I mean, no, he right to bear arms with no limits. Oh uh, yeah, limitless. Famously. Yeah, I think every American has a God given right. Nay. A responsibility to own an RPG. Yeah. Yeah. In the age of Bayraktars or like you can go on fucking Alibaba and get a drone that you'd be using in Ukraine otherwise, like I think I should be able to defend myself against yeah. those drones. We need rocket propelled grenades. Yeah. I, I, I want a Gears of War gun with a chainsaw. Like a Lancer? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, now, now that's something everybody can agree on. Yes, that's uh, tasteful. Yeah, that's that a is tasteful. a tasteful okay, attachment. Well, that for president? That's the bipartisan compromise. That's right. <laughs> You you hit it right in the middle. You know what I mean? We will have socialized medicine and chainsaw guns. <laughs> Hell it. yeah! One hundred percent of America votes for yeah, you. Yeah. Um, uh, chainsaw total. guns are would be unironically great because it's so, so heavy and so stupid that like it would yeah. literally make it pretty much impossible to do a mass shooting. And that with. way, I feel like the oil industry would feel safer about electric cars because they know that. You'd need crude to power that chainsaw. Oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah. yeah, straight You've up. thought of, like, every angle yeah. for this platform, <laughs> actually. These are good. <laughs> yeah. Charlie, oh. I'm curious about something. Yeah. You, I, I love airplanes. I used to want to be a pilot. Okay. I hear that you don't fly. I do not. So I have <laughs> flown. I've flown probably, like, 10 or 11 times, and I hate it. I can't stand it. You can't stand it. Is it w fear? Uh, let's unpack this. Yep. It's it's nine eleven. He's like he, out, of, <laughs> out of principle. Nine eleven scarred me for life. <laughs> so, is this? How long has this been going? Are you afraid since I was a kid? It? Yeah, yeah. So it's a. I think it's kind of a blend of lack of control and just like the okay. stakes. So mm -hmm. if something goes wrong in a plane, it's not the same thing as a car. Like it, mm -hmm. it goes catastrophically wrong on a plane. If no. it happens like when you're in the air, you're just kind of fucked. No, no, you're not. Have you seen that footage of that Nepal plane crash where like just flames everything, everyone's dead? What, what, yeah, but it's Nepal. <laughs> what? what does that mean? It's still what a plane. The fuck? No, uh, look. <laughs> no, I, no. I, I, I set a trap for you. Well, look, the regulations in some countries are not as intense as the United States, and that's a fact. Well, ha I've got a counterpoint. The Boeing Max. Do you remember the Boeing Max yes, controversy? Yes, I do. Where, yeah, oh, I do. By the way, he knows everything about yeah. what you're about to. He but, will what, debate what you on this. So. I might be spotting on the details, but they had a flaw with the Boeing Max where there was a new edition made that wasn't communicated to the pilots because they Correct. didn't want to spend the money to train them. Correct. They started falling out of the fucking sky. Correct. That's terrifying. They didn't really fall out of the sky, per se. They just plunged into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's you are yes. not helping. But the the nomenclature but, was a little but, off. But, yeah. but it was... Um, <laughs> plunged into the ground. <laughs> it, the... the um, Yes, that's what happened. Look, you do. There are dangers of flying, but very. It's the safest mode of transportation. Yeah, so, you've heard all this shit. Yeah, before. you've all, heard every argument. So against it, I don't think I'm going to sway you. One thing that I have, like, you conceded so quick. Well, I just it, it, he it, just it, destroyed it, you it, by bringing up the max. Like that's the easiest. No, no but but let me let me comfort you by saying that a lot of those, uh, the max. It's it's an easy fix, and they fixed it. Yeah. But even if the even if MCAS was still there, there's something called stabilizer trim switches that you could just go like that and cut it off and save yeah, everybody. Yeah, at the time, they didn't know that, which well, is why it became such a problem, right? Charlie, as someone who's also afraid of flying... Oh, you're in the same boat? Okay, fuck I'm in yeah. This, so I'm in this boat. I don't really tell this story often, but I was living in Princeton, which is a commuter city for New York, and my mom was a flight attendant. She's flying back from, I think, Europe the day of, and because I was in New Jersey and a lot of like the families worked in... Uh, Twin Towers, they gathered up all the kids that they thought their parents were like Holy shit. victims and they started like immediately like grief counseling. And I was in this group <clears throat> and I didn't hear from my mom for like a week because she was diverted to Alberta, Canada, I think. But I, I for like a good day thought my mom was gone. 
until like the details started coming out and stuff. Holy so shit. so after that, I was like so, and I used to travel all the time. My mom was a flight attendant, and I've been dialing my way back. You gotta fly. Well, so I like, creator exposure, exposure therapy. You gotta just take so it. I recognize that it's irrational. Like I know for sure it's not only the safest. That, that's why I can't. Yeah. That's why you can't like argue. It's with just you. such a hard thing to like. A phobia oh, yeah. is never going to be rational, no. and no. I recognize flying is a really good. And every time you hit turbulence, I still ah, like butthole yeah. clench. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You just, you, I also was afraid of flying, even when you wanted to be a pilot. Yes. It's a control thing. Oh, I got you. Because I'm sitting in the back of the plane and I'm not in the cockpit and I can't see the instruments and I can't do that. To this day, when I'm going through weather or something like that, I will pull up my app and I'll check the altitude and airspeed because I'm like, what's going on? You, I, I like to put something. I feel like that would make me more scared. That'd be no, a no. lot more nerve. No, 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 because yeah. no, because what you'll notice when you open up your app and you look at your altitude and airspeed is that you're feeling yourself getting thrashed around, but your speed is not. It's like staying the same, and so is your altitude. Mm. It's very much feels more intense than it actually is. What if the what if the pilot was like, we're gonna we're gonna shift gears here, we're gonna go a little bit slower? What would you would you be like, oh fuck? No, it's no, over? that that is what you do when you're in turbulence is they slow down uh -huh. to soften the and everything that they do to avoid turbulence is for your comfort, not for your, not for safety. It's all about passenger comfort. They they fly around. I mean, there's certain things that are weather wise that are a little bit more dangerous, but they will literally f uh, avoid turbulence, slow down, change altitude for passenger comfort, not because it's dangerous. In any way, shape, or form, the 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 amount of uh, a beating, and I'm sure you've heard this all before, yeah. that an airplane can take is insane. They fly these things into hurricanes, like the eye of hurricanes, to like measure like the wind speed in the eye of a hurricane. Yeah, and these aren't like commercial jets; they're like props. Yeah. yeah. You know? Well, at a certain point, you just gotta you gotta monkey D Luffy it and smile at death, you know, because yeah. the world's too wide. There's too much to see. There's still a lot I want to go see, like especially Japan and everything. Just looks amazing. Oh, it's just dude. It's the oh my god! It was that you don't good? understand. Okay, like it's it's embarrassing to admit this, but if you're a weeb, especially, I think like Japan is the greatest place on the planet. Yeah, everything I've ever seen from it or heard from it from people that have been is nothing but glowing reviews. It is literally like living in an anime. You will do like normal shit that you would normally do in America, and it just seems cool. You go to the kombini, and it's like. It's sick. You're going to a 7-Eleven, and, and normally that's, like, not a fun activity in America. Uh, do they even have 7-Elevens here? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Um, what? Well, 7-Eleven is, like, mostly, I mean, it's everywhere, but, like, in Hassan. certain states, they don't have a lot of 7-Elevens. Of course they have it here. I don't Four. know. I mean. In every a, state in America. Brother, this is a public institution, okay? This is this state. This is, is, a, pu this is a public yeah. state for yeah, sure. this is a public state. Thank so. you. got lots of 7-Elevens, though. We, did, we have a ton of 7-Elevens, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's not rare. Are, uh, like yeah. the, the majority of 7-Elevens, I think, are, like, literally in California, though. No, but the, I see them everywhere. Texas. Yeah, they, they have them. North Dakota, they Minot. They have them in most places, but I just thought maybe this was uh, Publix only for a we second. We need to get you across this great nation, Hassan. Brother, I've literally lived in this state. I've been to, like, pretty much everywhere in this state. Oh. Yeah. I, I'm very familiar with Florida. I didn't know that. I've never been to Tampa, though, for obvious reasons. What the fuck is there to do here? There, we have Bush Gardens. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah Bush have, Gardens, Tampa. Yep, we, we got have the Buccaneers. Beaches. We have the Lightning. You also have a baseball team yep, right now. The Rays that is making one. history. Yeah, they lost though. They lost last night. Unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. I I feel like this is this is where you come when uh you know there's like a corporate retreat. Like the company, the company wants to give all the sales executives like a like a weekend, and then they send you to Tampa. I feel like it's the whole city's vibes are are around that a little. Well, bit. a lot of it's tourism. So we have all of these beaches like in Clearwater and St. Pete, and there's a lot of places to stay there. So a lot of like company retreats always center around that area, which is where a lot of it comes from. So, so you're not wrong. So we're not even in the good part of Tampa mm -hmm. is what you're saying. We're in the bad you're, part you're of Tampa. You're in like the clash. You're in like the heart of college Tampa. Yeah. So where Creator Clash is being held is where the Lightning play, and in that area you have University of Tampa, which is where I went to school. And then you also have USF and another smaller university that all converge in the same general area. It's pretty fucking cool, though, if you like that atmosphere. Dude, I'm I, I 31 know. years old. I'm, I'm good on that. My content brain, I want. <laughs> I would love to see you do a moist company retreat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you pay for, like a, like, a Scranton, Pennsylvania's company retreat, but they have to do all the things that you set up for them. <laughs> That'd be kind of hype, actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're doing, like, they're doing, like, strongman competitions with the dildos. Yeah, the Moby Huge. <laughs> They the gotta, Olympics. They, you get to throw Moby Dick yeah. off of the you fucking high bar. You get a free vacation, bar. but you also got to do this content. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, 
I don't know. I'm 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 expressly anti Tampa so far because like I like you've it. broken me. Okay, why your bouginess is like. Oh yeah, it, it literally. I used to, I used to, out of principle, even when I could pay for like more expensive tickets, out of principle, I used to never fly uh, first class, business class, none of that shit. I wouldn't even do economy plus, okay. And I'm six foot four. I'm a big dude. It's hard. It's hard for me to fly in general, okay. Now I've gotten to a point where like you know, there's no all of the all the business class or like economy plus uh, tickets to Tampa because it's not like super well traveled I guess from the rest of the country are not like lie flat uh, seats at all. No. Which means you can't fucking sleep on them. No. Like it's like almost impossible. You're like Yep. You're like squished up. And they didn't even serve food on the flight. Nope. And I found myself what? Oh, uh, he's saying my earpods suck. Oh. <laughs> I found myself legitimately like uh like upset. Yeah. When we when we went into the flight and you know March and I are sitting there and and I asked the flight attendant I was like I'm sorry is there any food on the flight and she's like no yeah this is a red eye I, I'm a pretty it's a five hour flight so, what if I die Charlie I'm a pretty what if I die yeah. that's so I flew in August and I actually had you a, flew yep I went to a Rocket League World Championship oh my for God. our team. I the second it took off, I thought I was having a panic attack. My yeah. chest was tightening. I actually thought it was the end of me. Yeah. If you have like an em medical emergency, like if you conked out from blood sugar loss or whatever the fuck would happen without eating, you're just done. They like, have, you can't they do have anything. A, they have a they have a heart thing on there. A and defibrillator. They have a defibrillator. Yeah, they, have, they have a defibrillator and oxygen. Um, and uh, all the uh, all the flight attendants are CPR certified. I actually yeah. don't know that last except, part. <laughs> except the flight attendants. You know what? They're not certified. Certified in giving me treats because. I, she was very like I, she brought the snack tray over and i you know i i took a little bit of time looking through the snacks like because yep. i was like There's what a do lot I, of snacks i want to i want to eat some i want i need to eat something yeah. so so did i make you this way i feel like you've broken me so i'm mm. i'm a pretty reasonable consumer charlie yeah i Dice. just like <laughs> i like to get what i pay for don't okay. you agree makes when, sense when you pay for something you pay for a service if that service isn't delivered to what they have presented the service as being you should get your money back i have n so i couldn't disagree more really i, I have oh never, my god I, have, I love this i've never in my life really ever asked for a refund on anything really nope i couldn't do it Come i on. can't do it either it's, i agree it's, with you it's traumatic wait wait wait. so like do you disagree with the f that you don't deserve it or you just don't can't no do like it? i get okay. like if you pay for something you'd want it to be like the best it can be right. or what you're expecting but when it's not i just roll with it so 100 of the time when something goes yeah. wrong and it's egregious like in what way oh man i'm trying to think back to an example i mean there's your like, last example was you didn't get a meal on your first class flight okay so i pay for flight. a first class flight oh this is, <laughs> this is, this is this already is awesome to yeah. minneapolis from and i was going to see the minnesota vikings play football right and for it's a, a three hour game. flight by the way it's a three hour flight and i took i took my friend and a couple of a uh, couple of family members and i flew everybody at first class and we get on the plane, and wait. So you refunded multiple tickets. I'll get there. <laughs> we didn't even know that. So I like that this is the second time we're hearing this story, and it's like an onion. There's so many new layers <laughs> to it. New details. So I fly. I fly Delta a lot. Right. And the uh, we get on board, and the immediate thing, oven's broken. Mm. Shit. No, uh, which means don't look at him like like yeah. he's gonna agree with you. No, no, no. It's right? the worst. Oven, right? Don't you hate that? That's an outrage. Oven's <laughs> broken. No first class meal. Now. <laughs> Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Look, I. I it, By the way, he got no, no, no. Tell this part though. You got that flight specifically because you wanted to get the meal. You yes. could have gotten another flight. Part, part of the experience of flying first class is getting served food. I think, um, on this particular route. And so I, I. What was the meal supposed to be? It was supposed to be like some sort of. Uh, I think it was a quiche. This is so bougie. Okay. It's unreal. Some sort of quiche, oh my god! Right. So I, I we didn't get the, we didn't get nothing them. hits quite like airplane quiche. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's well, the worst part about this is that it's like so dog shit. Like Delta, especially okay. the food is so bad. But look, and I didn't get mad at the flight attendant. It's not their fault. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not their issue. She didn't I would blow up never the get mad at the flight attendant. They were awesome. We had a great time. We we we. Even, I, in fact, I ran into one of them in Phoenix like three weeks later. Hey man, what's up? Big Philadelphia Eagles fan. Side story. For another time, but anyway, He's trying to humanize this. <laughs> so, so anyway, I kissed, I kissed his baby. It was great. Yeah. Yeah. 
So anyway, so then I go to corporate and I say, hey, look, with all respect, I need, you know, I paid for this flight. I understand something got, went wrong with it. How it was many out of tickets your control. did you have in first class? Uh, three. So you were refunding three tickets. And I got a refund for all three tickets. Were they like profusely apologizing to you for it? Not Dude, profusely, because, but they no, were just like, "Sorry, it wasn't a good experience." He and is like a rewards demon. I'm like the top uh, of the okay. fucking Here's, food chain. Yeah, here now it's time for me to fucking talk shit. Okay, okay, I'm ready for this. Guess what? So because he's a rewards demon, I kind of utilize Austin like my my what is it called? Uh, like my concierge, booking agent, ambassador. Yeah, <laughs> no, but like uh, he books everything for me. Yeah. He gets the points off of it. I do. It's great for him, whatever. But I also get the. I, I don't. Know, yeah, I don't get your point. I get much. all of the like all of the extra benefits of like uh, being like a Halcyon member of like the, you know Delta top of Marriott. The, top of the, top is that Halcyon? Food. Yeah. Well, no, it's Ambassador. Yeah, I just oh, okay. I just made it up. Is, okay. Know. It's like, but it's like he's like the tenth Don of fucking Delta and right. also Marriott yeah. in the Marriott franchise, yeah. right? They know him. Yeah. Um, and because he's such a fucking point demon, a point rat, if you will. Mm. Okay. He booked the JW Marriott for us, okay? And there was apparently a much nicer hotel in the same franchise, the edition. And he literally was like, he was like, well, sorry, I was getting a lot more points at the JW Marriott, <laughs> so I booked you at the JW Marriott. That sounds reasonable, yeah, honestly. I think so yeah, too, yeah. Right? I'm like, bro, thank you for fucking put me in the nicest one. Because like, it's so expensive because it's like the weekend where like you know Taylor Swift is here. Yep. All this stuff's happening, so like, the prices are insane for yeah, like the Swifties a, have come in. But Charlie, numbers. let me tell you something that he's not telling you. M March pulled up to his hotel at six o'clock in the morning. They were on the same flight, and he had to wait how many hours? Two hours oh, for his room. Devastating. I arranged for Hassan. He arrived at the same time immediately, six o'clock in the morning. King bed, room ready. Let they me let me, me tell you something that they're both not telling you. <laughs> Creator Clash got them a free room at the hotel <laughs> I'm at, and yeah. they both opted out of it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's tragic. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, look. That's true. This is true. This is a fact. That, that's I true. look. I don't want to be disrespectful because I'm very gracious, and I am using the room to store my luggage this afternoon. <laughs> Taking full advantage of their hospitality. Glad, that is so I'm sweet. I'm glad that the room is being put to good use with your luggage. <laughs> you know, you're not even using their room. No, you I'm put using it in Will's. Will's room. But <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. Yeah, you didn't I didn't want to throw people on the fire. Look, <clears throat> but respectfully, I I need. This was a points trip for me. Charles. Austin, yeah, I yeah, needed to get some points. I needed some points. But you're gonna enjoy the fights tonight, right? I will not be at the fights tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so do you do you go to places just for points? Yes. Yes. Sometimes. No. Yeah. He's such a freak. No, literally. He's going to Miami tonight. It's in his thing for the fight. I have to, but I have to be there to film tomorrow. I, yeah, I, I, I would be here for the fights. No, no, we're, gotcha, we're gotcha. we brought Austin from Miami to here specifically so we could do this podcast. Oh, fuck yeah, yeah. that's huge. Thank you for yeah. taking the and time. Sorry, Charlie. And and I'm we're just like talk. We're like in, like hey. <laughs> you're reacting now to yeah, all which, which is, is funny. Fun. Though, like yeah. because this is usually how we do the podcast. Yeah. We always have a guest, but like we just we talk you know kind of talk. We, we, yeah. Talk that's so. half the fun, though. Like, that is the point of a podcast. Yeah. That's what we do on ours as well. I think that's the most healthy and natural way of running one. Yeah. yeah. What's the last big topic you had on your, on your podcast? Lead us in a conversation. <laughs> you oh. talk about cocks a lot. We yeah. do. Do you, have, do you have, like, a nuanced cock topic that we haven't covered yet? No, not really. We So we haven't talked about masturbatory deeds in a long time. Okay. We've usually been doing... Falling off of, a little bit. Yeah, we've been doing topical no, cock stuff. So do I, people get sick of that sort of thing? We kind of did because it's like, how many times can you talk about masturbating in different ways, right? Before mm. it just gets to a point where it's like it's the same deal. Before right. it's masturbating. Yeah, before it's just <laughs> masturbating. True. Yeah. So usually, if we're talking about wiener, it's if it's topical at the time. Okay, what's some topical wiener? Is there anything like breaking news? What's going on uh, in the world of cocks, Charlie? There actually it has been one uh, yesterday. Oh. A, I think. I can't remember where, but a police dispatcher, a 911 dispatcher, was caught sexting seven other oh, officers. Yeah. Yeah. And confirmed affairs with two of them, and Holy they're facing shit. termination. Yeah. Whoa. And the, te the uh, sex messages leaked. Why would they get terminated for that? Just unprofessional that's fucking the, at work. That's, <laughs> the only, yeah. that's the only thing cops get fired for in America. Remember the, the one that was like throwing <laughs> it back for the whole precinct? 
That's yeah, yeah. Megan. Yeah, yeah. Megan. <laughs> Megan. Su- superstar. <laughs> You're on a first name basis with her. She's a superstar. Was she yeah. a Florida cop? No, she no. was a Tennessee cop. Yeah. But there's a lot of twists and turns there. She started claiming they groomed her into it. Oh, okay. There's yeah, it gets it's yeah. a web. D- Whoa. Did uh, to untangle. this particular 911 operator did they were they sexting on the job? Yeah, so oh a lot God. of the problem because they were doing it on duty apparently. <laughs> yeah, dude, can you imagine like responding they send to a, a text, domestic abuse call? Like, Here, here's a picture of my tits. By the way, there's a fire downtown. <laughs> yeah. It's just like it's just like there, yeah, there's like a there's like an overdose. <laughs> You're going to an overdose call. She's like, Oh, I want to overdose on your cock right now. <laughs> God. God. I wish that so they have some of the text messages. I wish it was more like that. It actually feels like uh, if you've ever read like My Immortal, that fanfic. Oh, give me some. So one of them is, she was talking to one of the officers, yeah. but the guy's like a lobotomite, so every time she would say something, he just says, mmm. <laughs> every text message is like nine M's. Yum. And they always talk about kissing, so she's like, I can't wait to see you later so I can give you some smoochies. Dude, and then she that's puts, my favorite She puts little fucking thing. like kissing that's emoji. That's sexy, that just sounds like someone's in a no, relationship. No, no, that's like, that, when you're like super repressed, it, like that's the kind of sex thing that you oh, do. It's, lip so, it's so, so bad. It goes both ways. Like either you're like saying the most freak like shit, it's like I want to hang you upside down I want to piss penis. on your tits. Yeah. <laughs> it's either like that, sounds or great. it's like, oh, Specific. I can't wait to go. <laughs> yeah. Is that Will? <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait. To, that is a that is yeah. That I want to piss dessert. on your tits. I, I'm a humorist. Yeah, yeah. He just made that up. That totally is not something he yeah. thinks or says. Yeah. Um, I want to see you or use the Moby like, Hughes. Yeah. <laughs> or something like you know. Oh, I can't wait to give you little kisses, little uh, smooches little on the smith. mouth. <laughs> You know, it's just, it is what it is. Was there adultery involved in this? Yeah, so she cheated on her husband with two of them at least. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if those were on the job, but it was just so revolting to see the text messages because of just how juvenile they were. Yeah. Was she good at her job? I don't know if she was. She was a hell of an operator. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. You know. She was a hell of an operator. Yeah, separate the art from the artist, guys. Yeah, come on. I mean, if if she's just, I don't know how you would kill it in that job, but. Like if someone calls you, I'm I'm, uh, I'm I'm gonna fucking end it. Don't end it. I want to give you smoochies. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh no, that, that's that's when you're lives. mixing business and pleasure. Maybe you she's can't saving lives. You can't do. I that. mean, that's an interesting tactic. It yeah. probably wouldn't be super helpful though in an emergency. Like you yeah. probably not want to mix. She's like, they, they have a all. home invader. I think I'm having yeah. a heart attack. Don't do that. I'll suck your cock. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, it's getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> debate time. Now that we Ooh. know what Charlie. Uh, thinks about not getting refunds. Yeah, mm. I think this will be a good opportunity for Austin to reveal what he thinks about tipping. Oh, um, oh, tipping culture. you a big anti-tipper? No, no, oh. I, I've changed my. Okay, so originally I'm I'm like a big tipper. Okay, I like to tip specifically my my. I, I have a driver in LA that I that I that frequently. Yeah. Um, drives me around. I tip him minimum forty percent nice. usually. Wait, other, other side. side. Oh no! Oh, you've you've ruined, 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 ruined him. Wait, it's over. Me, it, you've ruined uh, him. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I, I know. Um, this is so I, I, I tip. Anything. I tip at least twenty percent minimum. Um, but I think tipping is getting out of hand. I was on a, I was on a ride yesterday, uh, a Lyft ride, and in the middle of the ride, I get a ding alert from the Lyft service. Mm-hmm. That says, hey, Austin, enjoying your ride? Show your driver you appreciate them by giving them a tip. In the middle of the ride. It's like a threat at that point. Yeah, it's yeah. like we haven't even made it to our destination yet. And like we, we just left the Tampa airport. See, like I, I would agree that's a little egregious because you're not there yet. Yeah. So did you just stall or did you tip? No, him? I didn't tip. Until the end of the round. No, he, oh, took okay. he took a screenshot. He took a screenshot of it and sent it to the group chat and was complaining. Also, yeah, but also. No, but I agree with that. But that it's one's what crazy. I think America and, and, and Hassan has changed my perspective on this. I used to think, oh, my God, tip people that don't tip, they're fucking jerks. But you know who the jerks are? The, the employers, yeah. the corporate employers that are putting the price of tipping on the consumer because they're not willing to pay their employees in a uh, livable That's wage. the root of the problem. Like, yeah. By not tipping, you're not fighting back against that. Right. You're just hurting the no, and, but exactly. I, but for the record, I do tip. Yeah. And even in Europe, I do tip. I appreciate it. It's a minimum 20%, but I do think the system is flawed. Do you yeah. know what I've noticed? Mm. This, this grinds my gears a little bit. Mm. I don't mind tipping even for, like, takeout stuff. Like, if I go get a coffee, and there's, like, a tip, you know what I mean? Like, 
someone made a coffee, it's okay. Whatever. I tip on that for sure. But I've noticed the amounts, the pre stocked amounts have been going up. Have you noticed this? The pre stocked yep. amount of what? Where like, it's like, do you want to tip? 10%, 15%, 15%, 20%. Oh, 20%, gotcha. I've seen some of those motherfuckers go up to 45% now, where it's like 45, 30. And then it, if you want to tip a normal human amount, you have to enter it by yourself. Yeah. And then you're, and but then you're like disrespecting them. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're like you're, sitting there. You make a custom amount that's just below yeah. all yeah. the averages. Yeah. yeah. What's what's your what's your like general gui- gu- guiding philosophy on tipping? So I always do whatever the maximum allowed is. So okay. I do a lot of Uber Eats because I don't really like maximum drive. allowed. You can infinitely tip. I well, imagine. no, no, no. Like of the no, 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 maximum allowed. Okay. It says, it says yeah. usually it's 15, yeah, 25, it's up to 30, 35. Okay. Whatever. Okay. That's going up to 45% now. I've only seen it to 26 here. I, that might oh, be a that's California thing. In LA, thing. that goes way higher. Yeah, yeah, that might be a California thing. There's all thing. sorts of taxes. Make no, make no mistake. No. Yeah. Tipping is uh, tipping should not be, in my opinion, off of jobs performance. That's the secondary component of t- tipping culture in America is that like everybody likes to feel like they're making a, a performance assessment in that process like while they're being served. And I think that that's part of the reason why it's also justified to you know, the overwhelming majority of the public is that like, you get to make this decision in this circumstance. You're like a little Lord, you know what I mean? You have your own little surf like serving you. And I think that is probably the secondary component as to why like people don't really push back against it. Um, but I see tipping as, uh, you know, as, as charity. Like I see it in the same way as charity in the sense that like, I always max out because I know for a fact that this person who's like serving me in the service sector is a 1 million percent not making enough money and definitely needs the tip okay, more than well, I do. Just a hypothetical. Back to the origin of tipping. What if the service fucking sucks? I still I still do it. Yeah, it's so hard to just be yeah. like I'm not tipping I, off that. I, That's fucking tragic. I never yeah. not tip unless it's like you, the worst I'll do is like 10% if if it's like really crap. That's no. my fault. I, I will still tip. But it'll be it'll be less. Now, and on the other end, when the service is like so acceptable, my baseline is twenty always. That's like the default. Twenty yeah. percent. If it's like crazy and like like they're just like we're just having a good time. I've you know I've I've dropped some pretty big tips on people. Yeah. No, and, I I just, always now I, I always say max bad out, service too though. I, I always max out. The only time I don't tip is when I can't because like they stole the food. You that's, know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Sometimes like, bad service in the current day and age isn't just like someone being inattentive at a table. It's like egregious. Yeah. It's like I had someone deliver something three blocks away. Yeah. And I had to go walk and get it. I still tipped, but I was like. That's yeah, fine. no, other than <laughs> like, even, even in a situation yeah. like that, even in a situation like that, I still max out because like I said, I think I, I feel like I feel like it's it's is charity like people will get mad at me for this. Someone someone who's working in the service sector might see this and like think, well, what the fuck? No, I think it is. It literally is the, the way I approach it is I think it's it's like a it's like an individual charitable donation you're giving to this person. I remove it entirely from the performance. So I I think you if you've been to Europe. No. Okay. I've so one thing doesn't uh, fly, bro. Yeah, I don't fly. Oh, that's true. Well, yeah. I mean, you could take a boat, right? That's uh, you sail. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, you can take yeah. a zeppelin. The glory. Yeah. You can take the, the ferry. The glory. You can take the Queen Mary over to London. Um, <laughs> I got to see it with yeah. my own two eyes. <laughs> so one thing I do think tipping culture does in the United States is I think it 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 uh, breeds better service. That's what I mean. That's dude. Even the but way it does you though. Yeah, but like, dude, think Free. about that, that, unpack that, that. That was the most capitalist. Un- like. I know. Unpack that for a second. You're literally saying like, it's basically a gunpoint at that point. It's like the threat of like poverty from this meal. Uh, that it, like, if they don't serve you so well, like they might not actually get paid a decent amount, especially when the actual uh, the actual uh, uh, like low amount that they can get away with like paying you in a restaurant is like a, you know two dollars and 25 cents in certain states i as the baseline I, no and and i think i agree with you on this i'm just saying that the pr- product of it is the service in europe is like you know like the uk in particular like you go to a bar or whatever you just who they don't give a damn <laughs> <laughs> they don't yeah. give it you show up and i'm like i'm gonna take my business elsewhere they're like yeah fuck off that's what they say yeah. they don't give a damn yeah, fuck off, you mind. have no leverage as a consumer in in other countries but that's not- which is why i think american business dominates the globe i <laughs> amen brother <laughs> that, I, I disagree. that was I think, a very think, patriotic yeah, stance i would rather i would rather have uh you know <laughs> servers make a living wage and like be able to survive and we don't disagree on this point 
yeah, for the record. And 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 then give me shit service. I don't give a fuck. Like we, it sucks, but we don't disagree. No, I would I would disagree on we that. We do disagree <laughs> on this. You literally would lose you would throw a hissy fit every fucking yeah. time. Like I'm if, a huge I'm a huge fan of American business and entrepreneurship, like Disney. You're a big Disney guy? <laughs> big Disney and they're fighting back against Ron DeSantis. That's true. They just had that big blow up recently between yeah. the two of them. How the how would you look I know we're not supposed to. Get we don't do politics. Here. We don't do politics on this podcast. We don't do politics, but like, why would you piss on the company that literally made your state relevant? Because because it's not real. It's just anyway, theater. Sorry, let's move on. I don't want to. It's get not into real. Politics. It's theater. He makes it seem like he's like fighting against Disney because they're woke and gay now. It's like when has Disney not been gay, brother? Yeah, what yeah, are you talking awesome. about? Disney is literally the gayest shit. It's yeah, like, which is I love Disney. Do you like Disney? Disney's all right. Yeah, you be, I, I don't like going to Disney at all though. Well, you you're you're like close to Disney. Yeah, but I've just never really liked it. I think the parks are just kind of ass. Really? Yeah, it did, like it's cool if you're really into it. You get to see like all of the props, the but it's just fucking Will boring. Will will not go to Disney. I agree with you too. Anything. I agree with you. I didn't it's fucking say boring. Anything. No, look, are you a Six Flags guys? I've only been to Six Flags once. It was cool. I like Universal though. Universal Studios is so fucking six, great. I'm a Six oh. Flags guy. I couldn't disagree with you more. Really, the, the quality of the park at Disney is far superior. I think it's like SpongeBob and Patrick in the box for imagination, though. Like the fun of Disney is picturing yourself in Disney, as opposed to actually being there in person. Because you're like in the locations. I, I will say Universal kind of Orlando is much better than you. If you go, you, if you go to Universal, no, oh, you haven't been there. You don't fly. Yeah. But if you went to Universal California, you'd see what I mean. Yeah, maybe Universal there is a big shithole, but here it's pretty fucking cool. It is pretty sick. Orlando Universal yeah. is pretty sick. They have Islands of Adventure, Can we get too. you out to LA? Yeah, what do we have to do? So do I, do? I, will, I will suck your cock right on the live stream right now. <laughs> for the Patreon yeah, or whatever. Patreon. Yeah, yeah after, on the paywall. <laughs> yeah, he's that's definitely enticing now. He's definitely going to take you up on <laughs> that's, that now. That's pretty good, yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. We get slurs and then yeah. a dick yeah. sucking <laughs> session <laughs> for the paywall. He'll wow. say the slurs in between yeah. sessions. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. All the mean, yeah, all the <laughs> you like this, oh, you F yeah. word. I'd be super down to go to LA. I've been once and I fucking hated it though. I think yeah. I think it's a big shithole. Yeah, you're right. It's not great. Sir, you are throwing rocks from Tampa. Yeah, but the <laughs> beauty of Tampa is like everything is still accessible in LA. If you're trying to get from point A to point B, it's gonna take you. Yeah, but all, that's yeah. also because like no one's here. Yeah, which is nice though. Yeah. Like that's so fucking nice. Like it's great. I mean, the the beauty of Florida is that like in spite of uh in spite of it being in Florida and it's probably gonna sink in like a couple of years. Um, we got about twenty years by good estimates. Yeah, you know. Uh, other than the that, entire state. Yeah, entire state's projected to be underwater by like twenty fifty or something. That is insane. Something Bro, fucking there's crazy. Sir, there's parts huh. of the state that are currently underwater <laughs> due yeah. to massive flooding. They'll build a levee, right? <laughs> they'll do something. They'll around stop. the entire yeah, they'll, state. They'll stop it. Yes. What? Yeah. What you, how do you think? Dude, what? He could be a Republican president. Dude, that was awesome. <laughs> we're, we're gonna build a levee, First folks, all, around all. Come, come on, they built a wall across the entire southern border. They, Brother, could, build they could build a levee. Yeah, you can't, water you can't benders, levy maybe. Your way out of the soft ground that this state is built on when it wasn't supposed to be built on soft ground. Well, look, here, here's the deal. I think Republicans and people will do anything to avoid state income tax. So what does that have to do with the levees? They'll build one. Oh, gotcha. To avoid California. Can you? Is California going to go underwater? No, nah, but we're San probably going to with a big earthquake. Yeah, That's San what they've Andreas been saying fault. for the last 1,000 years. What? It could a be any day, though. Years? could be any day. Yeah, that's what they say. Like, from here until you whatever. You know that guy living in Pompeii who's like, they've been saying this forever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they have It's been. dormant. It's he's, dormant. Yeah, he's, he's also the guy in Pompeii who, like, you know, <laughs> fucking <laughs> solidified as he was masturbating. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's like, oh, yeah. no, it's not a big deal. <laughs> whatever. Frozen in time saying yeah. the F word. <laughs> yeah. One last nut. <laughs> Look, I um, think they should build a levee around Florida, and I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna run for governor. Hey man, when, when Ronnie when Ronnie's going up against Donald, but Republicans dude. need a gay governor. They need a gay like other than what? What's what do you his mean? Name? <laughs> Half of them are gay. Yeah, that's already. true. But They're they need the somebody closet. that's out and proud gay. Yeah. Mm. And like you, you need to be a bigger, a way bigger scumbag. Like Ron DeSantis, I can't believe I'm saying this, is like better than Rick Scott, who is like Voldemort. I would, love, is, I would love to see you as a Republican politician. You're like, I'm gay, and so I think that I know that I should never get married. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we gotta get this gay stuff out of our books. <laughs> we gotta get this gay shit out of our schools. We gotta get them out. It's fucking bullshit. Let's stop with this, you know? I just don't think I should have the same rights as other people. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you would win. No. Dude, no. are you kidding me? If you, if you also dropped a couple, like, 
Democrats are the real homophobes in yeah. there. You know what yeah. I mean? Treating oh my me God. different, thinking yeah. that I need advantages. That's yeah. right. You know, treating me different because I'm a just, man, brother. He's, yeah. he's like, he's like, I, I want new game plus difficulty as a gay man. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to the good old days. No, but I'm, a, I'm a registered Democrat and will be for the rest of my Why life. Why are you looking at him and telling <laughs> me? This? I just want him to know where I stand. Yeah, I was getting him. confused on yeah. where he stood <laughs> up one until thing, then. One thing that I do love about Tampa, we got off the plane. First of all. It's like unnecessarily large of an airport. I don't know. What's it's going a big on. airport, actually. Is th why is there that much commerce happening? No, in Tampa? but they <laughs> went hard on that airport. It's they nice they airport. Re redesigned fucking, all of it. There's there's a train service that, inside. Yeah. Of it. I appreciate I appreciate that though because LAX is a total piece Ooh, of shit. The worst, the worst. absolute worst. I, I I you need to we need it when you fly. Talk to me. I'm gonna tell you where to go to make sure you don't go through Los Angeles. The Delta Terminal at LAX is like Ellis Island now. Yeah. They have like four seats for like a thousand people. Yeah. There's like one restaurant. It's so bad. There was like a two hour line for Jersey Mike's. Yeah. Th th this is the thing about California. Bet your ass anytime they have some sort of thing that they're building to improve something it'll, it'll make, make it, it worse 10 times worse yeah, and, and, and the duration it'll make it 100 times worse because the, the the construction is never ending yeah too. they they will never ever do anything right i am confident like that. what have they done that's like shitty after trying to improve it they built they, la exit la yeah, yeah they yeah they, they did this thing where they moved all the ubers off of a lot and somehow in order to take the traffic congestion out of the the, the horseshoe because that that's like the airport's built like a horseshoe right you have your arrivals and departures and you drive in, and then you go all the way around the horseshoe, and then you exit, right? They took the Uber out of there because the congestion, and somehow it's more congested than it's ever been in yeah. history. Because they also brought it back. Because if you get Uber Black, yeah, then you can still you know avoid that. Then, and, then Uber Black will come and pick you up, yeah. and then like as though it's a private vehicle. You know what I mean? No, no public transportation infrastructure to take you from. Yeah. The, anywhere in the city to the to the airport, no tram to but, connect you from any of the terminals. But that's the problem because right, I, LA is a is a car focused city. You used to have trams, and then they bought them and literally destroyed them specifically so the city would have no actual public transit, like no working public transit. This was a deliberate decision by car manufacturers, and we are living the impact of that still to yeah. this fucking day. That's why the congestion never goes away. The only way to get away is the get Democrat. Rid of congestion. That, just, that feels like a terrible spot to live. I don't know why anyone would choose to be out there. Though. It's the weather. For yeah. some reason, it's the, the weather. The it's weather. So good. The weather. The taxes are insane. It's crippling. It's like sixty percent tax. Crippling on income, the common right? man. I mean, yeah, I'm maxed crazy. out. Yeah. I, I'm, I would like to steer the direction of the conversation elsewhere from our yeah. gripes because we have twenty minutes left before mm -hmm. we go behind the paywall portion. Yeah. And Sorry. we are here for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. Creator clash. Let's talk about it. Yeah. So I'm pee while you talk about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we came down here for this, and he's back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's a bunch of YouTubers fighting, man. Like, uh, yeah. that's that's really about the gist of it. I know a lot of them take it super seriously. They don't want to get like hurt. Well, you're working it. Yeah, I'm doing commentary, but I'm just I'm not providing any insight. Like, I'm not um, a, I'm not like a real sports commentator. I just say goofy shit. Yeah, you don't have any dogs in the fight. No, I mean, there's people I want to see, but who do you want to see? So I think the one I'm most excited for is seeing Dad go ballistic. Cause he, Dad in the first Creator Clash in case Yeah, he was a it. feral animal. No one really expected much out of Dad. I'm going right. to be honest because he's he, he, he's unassuming. Yeah. And he whooped that ass. No, he went crazy. He, he went, went rodeo. He actually went crazy. So I, I want to see what he does this year. He's definitely the one I'm most excited Who's for. Who's he fighting? Uh, I actually can't remember who his opponent is. Okay. Yeah, but they're probably going to need a coffin if he comes out like last year. Okay, that so that's nasty. one of your predictions. That's yeah. one of your stone cold locks. I know whoever he's fighting isn't as like psychopathic as he is, so I yeah. feel like he'll probably stone win. cold lock. Yeah. Do you think Andrea Botez is going to win her fight? No, I don't think so at all. Really? No, I don't think so. So I'm a big Botez mm. fan. I love Botez. I'm I'm a bit worried because I know Michelle Carre from BuzzFeed, mm. and she's got that fucking dog in her. Mm. Professional cyclist mm. <laughs> does professional stunt work. Right, like she is, she's a gamer. Yeah, I, I just feel like also Andrea Botez is probably not coming out there with like intent to kill. I and don't you know need about that. No, that. I don't think so. I don't know about that. She, I think she's, she's like a killer. She's way too like content brained. Like I don't think she'd yeah. come out there like I want to hurt this. I person. think it's gonna be one of the best fights. Ooh, I think it's gonna I, be one of the best fights. That's a sleeper pick. Okay. Um, the other one I'm picking is Stone Cold Lock, epi uh, epic meal time. Harley, oh, yeah. I think over the WWE guy? Harley looks 
He's yeah, we, changed yeah, we, we saw him in the lobby. He looks insane. Yeah, no, he's he's a big guy. Yeah, he's and he's got guy. about like six inches on the dude, right? Yeah, he does. He he is a much bigger guy than his opponent, but he's the his opponent's a WWE wrestler. Like this yeah. is like, he's also like a dancer too. So he's got like great cardio. Ooh. Oh my god, he's yeah. a dancer. Yeah. yeah. He's got that Patrick Swayze. No, he's wow. his moves are nuts too. I don't know if you've seen him dance, but he does like some crazy like break dance moves, almost yes. like ballet. Is he, about, is he about to fucking pop into Capoeira and, the, yeah, and that'd the be ring? nuts if he did. They're yeah. break dance fighting. Like Eddie Gordo. Yeah, he just starts. He just starts stone locking them. Stone Cold Lock of the Century of the Week, myth. <laughs> yeah. My horse is coming in. You he's, think so? Who's he? F- beat that ass. Who's he Hundar. fighting? Hundar. You gonna beat that ass? See, you the face you made is that. Look, we, I don't know. We I'm willing to put trainers. a bet on that. we we have the same trainers. I love myth. Uh, I think it's gonna be a tough fight. Hmm? I think it's gonna be a very tough fight. Hundar is a big boy I'm with telling experience. You right now, I'm telling you right now. I've known. Ali. I've watched him grow. And when last I spoke to him, he had bad intentions mm. on his mind. Okay. You can tell when someone's been cum retaining, when they are when they're pent up, when they're violent, he's the pack violent, full. Right? Wait, you think this is, you think cum retaining is a critical strategy? I think it helps. Is it so? I I studied exercise physiology. I don't know if you boys knew this. If you want to maximize gains, if you edge before working out without coming, yeah. it actually improves your gains. I by call what, that spiking tea. By what they, percentage? They teach you Not that in exercise oh, physiology? No, it's something I just learned while oh. I was still in college. Do you, just, do, do you do that? No, okay. I could never. I don't know how you have that kind of control to like edge and then go work I out. I just blow load. I couldn't finish before working out or I'd have no motivation. Well, yeah, uh, T yeah. levels drop after you ejaculate. Well, yeah, but not even. I just, yeah, that. Yeah. probably why I wouldn't have any motivation. Yeah, you need to spike that T. Yeah, I cannot jerk. You off. need to look at lewd photos on the internet before a bench press. Yes, I need to get photos from sexy men. If 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 a sexy man that I was trying to get after sent me a photo of themselves and said, "You need to look like so shredded." Yeah. To to. I remember I when it. I realized that was a thing. Because, like, my freshman year of college, there was a beautiful girl in the gym, and she was like, how many pull-ups can you do? And I did, like, 100. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I was like, the most I've ever done is eight. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? His, his arms kept yeah. going, his body yeah. fell I off. felt my lats just tearing. <laughs> and I was like, keep going. Did, did, you, did you do anything with her? No, she, no. No. That, that was what the fuck. It's not about that, Austin. It's, it's about, about the fucking games, it's about man. Sending a message. Yes. <laughs> it has nothing to do with like getting laid, dude. Yeah. Have you ever had a situation like that? Not at all. I never. Not at the gym. He is nowhere. the most peeled out of all of us. So maybe sure. let's listen to him. Peeled. Shredded. Yeah. I, I saw a picture of you as Jesus Christ in here. Yes. Which, which, by the way, uh, I don't know if we we can get the photo on the screen here, but it looks like you could be Mormon Jesus. Like, yeah, so- I could, you could put yourself in a Salt Lake City Mormon church. And nobody would even bad night. That's what happened on Facebook. So on Facebook, <laughs> the like the old like moms and shit, yeah. they used to circulate my picture as like a Jesus thing, like thumbs That's up if awesome. you like Jesus kind That's of thing. Awesome. It was really cute. That is cute. so awesome. It was so cute. A buddy of mine, his grandma framed my picture without ever knowing it. Did they, did, yep. Yeah, I was going to say, they didn't know. Mm-mm. They Charlie, thought you were Jesus. I'm an idea, man. Here's an idea for you. If yeah. you ever need an album cover right. or, or a picture that you circulate, you build a cruciform right. out of dicks. Oh, giant cocks. Oh my You've God. had a lot of dick related ideas since we got yeah. here. And then you Jesus yourself on the cross on okay. two massive penises. That's a that's a big idea. That's a big that'd idea. Be, that'd you, be very controversial. You look so yeah. no, but you look so much like Jesus himself. But I think Facebook moms would notice that. You don't think the that. cocks would upset Yeah, anybody? that might be a little perturbing. I mean, they elected Trump to the office of the president. You could convince people of anything. What would I be convincing them of? Uh, that it's dicks, okay to dicks, hang on a delicious. cross of dicks. <laughs> like what? He's fighting. He died on a cross full of dicks, so homosexuals couldn't have sex with one another. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He's, he's, <laughs> he's, he's salvaging the dicks for himself. Yeah. yeah. Oh, to, to yeah. stop the gays he from took, having any yeah, of the dicks. He, he died of too much. Never mind. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna okay. get us canceled. Um, other than the crater clash, there's one issue that I wanted to talk about. Sure. You recently yep. did something um, that I personally think is is a, a little bit scary we don't have to talk about it if you don't want to but you responded to trolls yeah you did it not only once but twice true and i have a lot of opinions on this because i used to be like that as well i used to give in and i still do sometimes um but i think that it's uh, ultimately uh unproductive because i feel like they benefit more from you giving them legitimacy, especially if they're coming at it from not like uh, the standpoint of constructive criticism, but instead simply to uh, you know gain clout. 
How do you feel about that? So, I'm not any pointed. Oh. Oh, okay. Can you toss me my phone real quick? Yeah. Let me just see what time it is. It is almost four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can tackle this and then I'll probably have to head out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, the way I look at it is I always give people the benefit of the doubt that where they're coming from is a place of good intentions. Mm -hmm. And I feel like at the core, there was a conversation to be had about the topic regardless of who was opining on it so like it wasn't just a troll like i still feel like other people had legitimate criticism of it so i wanted to tackle it more from that perspective while also maintaining that i disagreed with certain aspects of the situation i i understand where you're coming from but i always view everyone as coming from a place of like actual care even though i know that's not always going to be it not everyone's genuine no i i th this is literally exactly the same thought process i went through a couple years back uh and then once i realized that it cultivates an audience basically that uh for the other party and, yeah, and i just never just really like kind of in the space once you open up the floodgates i mean look hopefully it doesn't it doesn't end up that way but um i don't think it was an accident that like shots were fired in your direction almost immediately after the sneako thing i just always i don't i understand that that kind of personality exists i just never really believe it till i see it because i just feel like people naturally don't want to foster a community like that yeah like I, I that's what i thought too yeah i just feel like no one really wants that kind of audience in the first place so it wouldn't be like if it happens it's something they didn't plan on or things got misunderstood or lost in translation i think um i i agree with you i do think that some people do want that because they they see the short-term benefits and they don't necessarily think about the long-term consequences of having an audience like that uh i've said this to uh, a lot of people who do this kind of content over and over again that like it's not a sustainable business model for you if you're a content creator and you're like constantly going after like whoever the whoever you think is like on the downtrend and like pile on to it and you know cut commentary no matter how silly it, it might seem you might actually get like a bunch of haters of that person to come and watch your channel for that brief duration, but your viewpoints are gonna, your view counts are gonna drop off immediately afterwards because they're not there for you. They're they're not necessarily there for your commentary. They're there to just like shit on the person um, because they don't like them for whatever reason, and um, well, it, it it creates a very toxic space for them. I don't think that was Charlie's motive by any means why, no, no, why no, no. did you choose to respond that's because, not what i was talking about I was no talking i know about i know that's, that's, that's what i'm saying yeah. because I, like i said i think there really was a core discussion to be had on it like i recognize mm -hmm. that i also wasn't super clear so i thought it was maybe a big misunderstanding on the whole situation and things getting tossed around and getting lost now i recognize that that was never really the intention behind yeah. it to have a conversation about it but even still i just never subscribe to the belief that people want that for their own personal sure. community right well i'm here to tell you that they certainly do it's possible it's just i don't know <laughs> i just don't like to believe people enjoyed that because that's just existing in a perpetual shit headspace yeah surrounded by people that you also probably don't even like yeah no literally i, I think it is very toxic and there are a lot of spaces like that online especially in like the lol cow side of things where like uh there's a lot of communities that that basically gravitate towards that kind of content because I think we're living in dark times overall. And I think that the more, uh, the more things seem uncertain, the more uh, people's futures look, uh, you know, worse and worse, the more they gravitate towards that kind of thing. It's just another kind of disease of despair, whether, uh, you know, some people go to alcohol, some people go to drugs, some people go to gambling, and then others go towards this kind of commentary and content that like doesn't really make them feel good but it at least makes them feel better in comparison to whoever they see on a pedestal that's like being brought down a peg. It's like this accountability politics, which there is a place for, I think. And and I do uh, think that constructive criticism is an absolute necessity. I think that's a very good thing. Um, I, just, I just feel like uh, a lot of the people that take advantage of that better nature of content creators uh, end up uh, making it harder for everyone to even uh have uh, a charitable and constructive conversation that was a what? powerful segment that's a good segment. <laughs> especially piggybacking off of wieners and yeah i know that, yeah. this is what we like to do crucify we've really cock. covered everything we can podcast. we can go out on a lighter note you are a cock expert 
What nickname do you have for your penis? I've never nicknamed it That's in my insane. life. I've also only ever taken one dick pic. Really? Like, I was so unbelievably ashamed. Do who did you send Let's it to see somebody? It. I yeah. wish I still had it. It Pull was it, it was repulsive. Short Austin. <laughs> it was repulsive. Why was, he would, why was he it would repulsive? Puke. He would puke. Really? I sent it to my girlfriend at the time and I didn't know how to take one. So I was laying in my dorm room bed and I pulled my pants down and I took it from You my went head. balls up? Yep. So I oh, took it I took it from no. me looking at oh, my head. No. Mistake. And since, so I have Your a eyes <laughs> I have a natural curve, right? So it's like looking up at me like I've got myself at gunpoint and my cock <laughs> looks like a piece of chewed gum. I don't think it was so bad. I deleted it. I didn't send it to her because she would have broke up with I me. I don't if I think did. that that's a bad dick pic. It's t- it was balls terrible. Balls up. No, no, no. Yeah, was, Austin is yeah. greasing you because he wants balls to do it. Balls I don't I don't have it look, anymore. Uh, look, balls up. It's because most gay men take care of themselves. Down, the, I like to see little. It wouldn't balls ch- up. It wouldn't change like the structure though. It looked like like a Digimon devolving. It was I, like a, it was a terrible angle from I, all. Did you know monster? I appreciate the anatomy of a man. I really do. You wouldn't. There was no anatomy to even be seen here. It Look, was so. It was almost like an abstract. Charlie, why don't you work. retake it real quick, and I'm just <laughs> <laughs> and we'll we'll analyze it behind the paywall. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put it on the paywall. Yeah, absolutely. All, all right, right, Charlie, you gotta go. Yeah, I do have to head up. Charlie, Thank you so you, much for joining well, us. Thank you for having me. Everybody knows who you are, but what do you want to plug regarding uh, Moist Wrestling League? It's, yes, it's coming out to defeat the WWE, baby. Can't wait. When are you gonna get me in the ring? Brother, we were I sh- we were talking. I about reached that. out and I heard back crickets. When did you reach out? Via Twitter. That was I in the thread. Story. Respond. Put me in the ring, Daddy. You could have just DM'd me. I know, but it's. it's I want to. I want a very. <laughs> can I have a wrestling character, overly flamboyant wrestling? Well, character? the thing about wrestling is there are no flamboyant characters at all. Oh, it's hard. <laughs> yeah. If you oh, know anything no. about wrestling, they're all <laughs> overly flamboyant. God yeah. damn it! What I walked. It, I would uh, love to have you. What, what, what was it? Gold Star or something? Wasn't that Gold like? Dust? Gold, Gold Dust. Dust. Yeah. Gold Dust is so fucking yeah. hype. His Dude, father. Uh, is like one of the coolest wrestlers. He had a song that was, he's just a working man. And he was like the white guy for the black people. Wow. wow. Yeah. I did not know that. Honky tonk, redneck, boom, ba 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 He was, he was honky tonk, badonk, badonk before Bef- it existed. Really? Oh, yeah. I love that. I That's didn't know amazing. anything about Gold Dust's dad, but Gold Dust was fucking well, hype. He and Dusty Rhodes, or wait, I think his dad's Brothers. Dustin Rhodes. Dustin, yeah. He Dustin, is and then Dusty Rhodes is their dad. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and Dusty Rhodes was like, <laughs> he was dope. Mm. Charlie, yep. you were a fabulous guest. Fabulous. Oh well, Absolutely. thanks for having I, me we on. We really boys. enjoyed having you on, truly, and you made the trip worth it. Well, I'm yeah. glad you yeah, since you're leaving tonight. Yeah. Fuck yeah! Uh, if you would have bombed, it would have sucked. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, you would have the episode. Episode. stormed out of here. You, in a you would have still rage. had your points though. So yeah, that's so true. I am very excited true. to ball later tonight, and that'll also be fun. Ball tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. So if you if you boys are down, we can ball both. Oh, days. I'm fucking down, baby. That's why I brought Loser my basketball send shoes. Picks. Yeah, I'll t- re- recreate <laughs> yeah. my cock. Yeah. Once, yeah. once Austin is gone, we can all send dick pieces. I was gonna. Yeah. Is your basketball court air conditioned? No, it's just okay. I didn't. Is it air conditioned? Okay. Oh, I'll, I'm gonna go to Miami then. Yeah. I'll yeah. see you guys. I'll see you. All right. That's it for us. We'll see you behind the paywall. Peace. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, you TwitchCon. Yeah, the and worst. then and then they're like, we met, and I was like, oh my no, god, no. I was see, hammered. See, and I, I would rather drank, I would way. rather have them hit me in the face with a shovel than have that. Interaction. It happens to me all it's the time. It's the worst thing when you're just like, when they're like, they clearly know who you are. They clearly have met you before, and you just are blanking out. You're drawing a You know how you get out of it, though? What? They're like, unless they ask you, you don't remember where we met? I'm sorry, I just got out of it. (laughs) (laughs) Why not? I'm sorry, I'm recovering from... I'm actually recovering from a heroin addiction. Have you let God into your life? (laughs) I'm recovering from a heroin addiction. (laughs)